All right, fellas, a lot of you guys noticed this CUDA tool holder during my MTB slam. And you can see it's, it's removed, right? And that's really the beauty of this tool holder from CUDA. It's got vacuum mount technology. So no holes are drilled. You guys know this is a brand new boat, Crestliner XF189. I really didn't want to start drilling holes in this boat already. Eventually, I'll start doing things and drilling some holes. But, you know, right off the bat, I don't want to start putting holes in my console. And that's really, like I said, the beauty of this tool holder. If you have a fiberglass console, you know, steel, aluminum, something like that, or even if you just mount a plate to the deck of your boat or something like that, you can mount this tool holder. Like I said, it does have vacuum mount technology. You'll see here, it's got this little pump and this little orange ring here. So basically what you do, of course you want a clean surface, and this works perfect right here, okay? Get that straight. And all you do is you start to pump it until the orange goes away, okay? And then of course you can't pump it anymore. It's on there nice and secure. Now you can leave it on there for as long as you want. You don't have to take it off. If you start to see orange again, just start pumping it and you'll be good to go. If you ever want to remove it, you'll see a couple little tabs here. You just pull back on those and it comes free. So again, very easy to install and remove. And of course, I'm about to start fishing, so we're gonna put it back on here, load my tools up. So get her centered there. You gotta admit guys, that is pretty dang slick. Like I said, no holes required and you are good to go. Okay, now we'll go over some of my favorite tools that I like to store in the CUDA tool holder. You'll notice a bunch of different size holes in the top here to accommodate different size tools you guys may have. Plus it has a bunch of smaller holes on here to be able to hang some lures, some hard baits, some spinner baits, some jigs, things that may need to dry out before you put them away in your boxes. But as far as tools goes, guys, I've been using this one the longest, probably the last three years or so. This is the pistol grip pliers here. Love this one. It's great if they take it deep, you have a clean line of sight to be able to remove the hook and your hand is not in the way. If you guys are looking for your first pair of pliers, I would highly recommend this one right here. Like I said, to this day, still my favorite. All right, from there, we got the 10 inch. That's the long nose there. Keep that one stored up front as well. Another needle nose we have here. It also has that little split ring plier tip on there. Little combo needle nose split ring plier. Keep that one right up front. We got a pair of dikes. That's coming pretty handy as well. Let's see here. Forceps, these are great for bluegill and things like that. A little slot for those. And of course, the scissors. Got to have some scissors. All right, this one right here, guys, I've never used it. I hope I never have to use it. This is the CUDA hook cutter. So if I'm using this tool, most likely I have a hook in my hand. So let's just keep this one latched up and stored in the back. From there we got just your standard needle nose. We have the Texas Tackle float ring pliers. Never leave home without those, a little slot for those. And then we got a couple pairs of snips. This one here, one of my favorites, this one came out last year. That's the 5.5, I normally just leave this one, throw it up there on the front deck. And this is the big brother there, great for fishing line, you know, rope, things of that nature. So keep that stored in there as well. You can see guys, it stores or it holds a bunch of different tools and it's secure, it's not going anywhere. And guys, the main thing was no holes are drilled in my new Crestliner XF 189. So if you guys have a similar situation, got a brand new boat you don't want to drill into, or even an older boat that you don't want to drill into, and you do have a fiberglass console, aluminum, or like I said, you want to mount a piece of steel to the front of your deck, you know, definitely check out the CUDA tool holder. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one.